Hi, uh, my name is Mike Benny. I'm an independent journalist and friend of the wine market team. And today they've decided that again I should repeat a performance in front of the camera to discuss a certain wine. Today's wine would be the Grand Burge Zerk Barossa Semillon Viognier from 2009. Now, Semillon and Viognier together in the glass sounds a bit unusual. Well, based on whatever I taste here is pretty much how you're going to think about the wine as well. I'm hoping, anyway, that my uh, influence is great enough to carry you across the line. So I'll open it up. The first thing I notice is, ooh, screw cap. So much better than that corky stuff. Well, there's a couple of screw caps in there anyway, it doesn't matter. In goes the wine. The great thing about screw caps is with white wines, it keeps them nice and fresh. So if you want a really crispy, crunchy white wine, the screw cap's the way to go. A little bit of oxidation around the cork, not necessarily a good thing. So we'll have a sniff of this. Once again, please practice RSA if you're drinking at home. It is 8.30 in the morning and I shouldn't be actually sipping that down, but lovely lemony, zesty freshness in the glass there. Aromatically, we get a little bit of that Viognier, which means that you get a little bit of a kind of apricot nutty complexity to the wine in the aromatics. A little bit of floral notes, and plenty of citrus, which is really great for a refreshing white wine. The growers behind this wine are Robert and Janine Zirk. Their name appears on the bottle. Now, they've been in part of a Barossa Valley growing family who have uh, had vineyards for the last 80 years. So there's a lot of heritage behind the vineyard side. That's a pretty good thing for a wine. It gives it a little bit more longevity and flavor and complexity. So when you're actually using your tongue to try the wine, somewhere up here is the delicious zone. I know you haven't probably heard of it, but that wine strikes the delicious zone. More the point is, is its refreshment factor. None of that kind of vinegary taste you get with some of the cheaper wines and much, much fresher than some of the you know, detergenty ones we don't like very much. So, on the basis of this, if I was thinking about having a really affordable, lovely, fresh drink, dunking the legs in the swimming pool and kind of having a bit of a summery time, wouldn't go too far past this Grand Burge semi on Viognier. Enjoy.